I have seen people in my life who messed with me, seeing karma happening against them. And not because I did anything against them, but I just believe it's because God is with me and God is fighting my battles as he most importantly says in the scriptures. So you also, I want you to note something down and don't be shocked. And hello everyone, I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. Let me assure you again, you wouldn't be wrong if you are to say they should never ever mess with you. I know that this is preached almost every time to the point where we easily get to take it for granted, but realistically, and I said it deliberately, realistically, meaning it is what it is, how, I don't know how, but then if you believe in the scriptures, if you believe in the Bible, that is what you get. That is why I rest with confidence, knowing anyone that fight me, anyone that comes against me, God will deal with them his own. Hardly ever do I actually even remember ever cursing anybody for that matter. If I did, maybe scarcely so, but realistically, I am so confident that God you see how much this person is hating me. God, you see what they are doing against me. And I leave it at that. And I'm like, even if I don't see any bad thing happening to them, it's all right, oh Lord. But then, listen, I, will, I stand here today. I can attest to you that years later, sometimes later, even a month or weeks or days later, I would see the very same people suffering something. And it would be easy for me to say, Perhaps it's because of what they have done against me. Because, come on, God is for me. That is why I want to tell you today, even I, you might find, I just don't know. There are people who are sick because of you. They are sick because they fought against you. They are sick because they came against you. That is why some people are beyond help. Some even when they get healed, they, they go back into, your, into their witchcraft ways. Do not take yourself lightly. When you pray, when you ask, Lord, protect me. Lord, fight my battles. Lord, do this and that. It is never in vain. Make no mistake about it. Therefore, I pray that in Jesus' mighty name, may the Lord begin begin continue to fight for you in your life if the lord was never fighting for you and there was a reason for it i pray may the voice of the lord enlighten you may he begin to defend you may he begin to protect you may he begin to come against those who come against you the bible says and the lord said about jacob about israel i will bless whoever blesses you and curse whoever curses you. What does that mean? That is why today, any country that is going against Israel, Christians are so worried that such a country is being cursed because it is a written scripture. Even if in that country they know that they are Christians, but the bottom line is that country as a whole, maybe individually they can be saved, they can, but then the country is in trouble before God. He has said his word. Now, the same manner he has said his word, it is the same manner in which the Lord God is saying his word about you. May he fight your battles surely in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And remember, you can also book an appointment with me. All the details are on the comment section below. See you next time.